Well, crap. No more Vidme. Guess we have to rely for YouTube to continue existing. At least for now. Next I'm going to leach off the sodium silicate from the reaction vessel. It's in the middle of all sorts of stuff, most notably unreacted reagents. I'm going to start by pouring up some water in there. As we can see, it starts to go into, into the cracks and we can add a bit more. I can sense some initial heat coming from the vessel, which means there is most likely still some unreacted sodium hydroxide. But that's okay, because that is going to be reacted later out and it will still be in solution when we precipitate out the pure silicon dioxide. Now I am going to leave this for half an hour and then come back later to uh, start another leaching round. Now I am going to filter the first leach round. Actually, I've decided to use this as a filter. It's a syringe with some cotton at the bottom. So, the idea here is... I have here my clear liquid, I have here my dirty liquid. I'm going to pour some of this dirty liquid into the syringe. Like so. And I am going to push with the piston to create some pressure. And as we can see, fast filtering. Next I took some of the filtrate and started adding sulfuric acid dropwise to it, stirring it in between additions. The liquid first gets only lightly cloudy, but after around 3 minutes there is a clear point at which silicic acid precipitates out. I kept stirring it and added some more sulfuric acid to drive the reaction to completion, but that was most likely unnecessary. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of it, but after a while I added some sodium carbonate to neutralize any unreacted acid. Then I put the liquid and solids in an oven to dry them out. Now I have dried the silicon dioxide and everything else that was in the solution. So the next step is to take it out of the oven and try to dissolve everything that isn't silicon dioxide in uh, plain old water and then dry it again. First I need to break some of this stuff so that it's in, a, in smaller pieces so it's easier to manage. And as we can see I've mostly managed to keep the aluminium foil intact but not completely so that will have to be dealt with. Anyways, now I'm going to take this cup start transferring some of this stuff in there. Next I am going to try to dissolve as much of the water soluble compounds as I can from the silicon dioxide. After adding the water I mixed the solution to dissolve as much of the water soluble components as possible and then decanted the unwanted water part out. I did a couple of these washings to get the silicon dioxide as pure as possible. Then I took the silicon dioxide and started drying it on a high heat. As most of the powder was very fine, the rising steam could push it around and create these fountains. At the end of this process I ended up with unreacted wet sand some sludge, I have no idea what it is. Maybe some fine sand in water suspension? A ruined beaker. You really shouldn't dry silicon dioxide in silicon dioxide beakers. 
and of course the end product, white powdery silicon dioxide. Thanks for watching this video. Please rate it and do consider subscribing to this channel. Also you can leave a comment, I do take suggestions for future videos and projects. See ya! Bye!